Hey guys, it's Becky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my good midlife crisis as I travel through my 40s trying to get my poop in a group. I am going to be working on my financial, my physical, and my mental health with a primary focus on my financial health to get started. Today's video is about setting up my first paycheck of March and I am going to do that using the Budget by Paycheck Planner by The Budget Mom and I will link this planner down below if it's something that you think that you would be interested in. It is how I make a plan for the paychecks that I receive each month and then when I do actually receive the paycheck I use the cashless envelope, cashless envelope system and I use the um, app YNAB. You need a budget to do that and I will also link that below in case that's something that you would be interested in as well. I Today is, I don't even know what today is, today is February the 26th and I actually get paid, today is a Saturday, I get paid this coming Friday. So I want to take this weekend and try to make a plan for my, my money that I'm going to be getting on Friday. Um, if you watched my last couple of videos, you will know that I did a thing this week, y'all. I did a debt consolidation. Um, I know that that is not a thing that is for everybody, but I really do think that for myself, it was the best move that I could have made. I am saving myself over a thousand dollars in interest, probably closer to like fifteen hundred dollars in interest. And um, when it's all said and done, with the rate that I was able to get from my credit union, I did have to use my car title as a secure as security, um, but I'm fine with that. And um, anyway, so when I set up this budget, you will see that I have quite a few less um, payments than I have in my last couple of videos. And y'all, I had to do my budget, like I pre-write this down just to make sure I don't forget anything. I did this twice already. I did it last night because I was going to film this video first thing this morning, and I had so much money left over at the end of the month that I was like, I, I can't film this, it's wrong. And so I did it again this morning, and it's right. I'm saving so much money that not only can I meet all of my savings goals, I've added new categories in here, and I have, I'm able to do, I'm doing the Budget Moms um, savings challenges. I'm able to do all of the savings challenges for March without any modifications, and I still am able to make extra debt payments and have a little bit of a buffer. I'm so, and I'm, I'm really hoping that these numbers are accurate, that nothing unforeseen pops up which obviously it happens. It's how you get yourself into a mess in the first place. Hello, Becky. Um, but if things stay on track for March, I'm gonna be pretty okay, y'all. I'm really excited. So come along with me. Let's dive into this and let's get this started. I am going to do something a little bit different today. You might not even notice it, but for me, because if you notice the last couple of uh, plan with me, budget with me videos that I've done, it keeps cutting out, my camera keeps stopping. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stop every once in a while so I'll know where I am. <laughs> so I'm sorry if it gets a little jumpy, but one of my things that I do want to eventually purchase is a better camera with like autofocus and things, but that is not a priority. My priority is to pay off my debt. And um, so for now, I'm gonna work with what Nathan has so very nicely and so very kindly let me use. He's letting me use his camera and he even bought a tripod for me to use. And um, his, he's got a ring light. This is all his, y'all. So eventually I will buy some better equipment, but for now I'm going to work with what I have. Anyway, so come along with me as I budget my March paycheck. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is write in what my projected income is. So this should be what I bring home in paycheck number one. And this will be on the 5th, I get paid on March 5th. Should be 1708.47. And then I have more than this left over, um, but I'm rounding down. So I'm anticipating my rollover from February to be around a hundred dollars and that's just in case because I still have a whole nother week uh, before I get actually get this paycheck so if something comes out of that check I want to be prepared um, and I don't want to have planned for this money and then not actually get it so I'm going to under budget which I always recommend people do so that would make my total income 
47. And here, y'all, here's where I am so excited to share what I'm doing. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's gloomy and rainy and dark outside. It is, like, it's just about noon. It's 1218, but it looks like it's six o'clock in the evening, so it's really dark and shadowy in here, and I apologize, but it is what it is. Okay, Aflac is supposed to come out, and this is my, I have a cancer policy, and I have an accident policy, um, like a doctor visit. So if I'm in the hospital, if I go to the doctor, if I get a cancer screening, it covers me. If I actually get diagnosed with cancer, or my niece who lived with me because uh, she was my dependent when I signed up for this plan, so she's automatically covered until she's 26, 26 um, it will pay for everything, transportation, medications, and it just pays you. Anyway, I love my Aflac, Aflac plan. It was paid for, uh, part of it was paid for by a previous provider and a previous employer, and when I left, I just kept the plan because I love it so much. So Adobe 1623 comes out. Wash and Roll is my car wash subscription. That also comes out on the 7th. That is $19.99. I always think about canceling this, but then I actually really do use it. So I don't know. I guess it's worth it. Like I said, my mom lives in the country now. And when I go out to see her, my car is filthy when I come home. She lives on a dirt road. So it's it's really messy. I guess I, I guess it's worth it. Discovery Plus. Um, I like the HGTV on there. That is what I keep that for. And then my mom was watching it. She doesn't have internet right now, so she can't really watch it. But um, hopefully, eventually, she'll get her internet back and she'll be able to watch it. And then Microsoft, that is my OneDrive storage, and also I have, um, oh, what do you call it? Office. My Office 360 um, is in that as well, so that's $7.57 a month. And then this is my only remaining credit card, y'all. This is the card that is in my dad's name, and my balance is now only $817. <laughs> that is amazing. So I'm hoping to be able to pay it off by... Uh, late summer, early fall is my goal. And if this budget that I've set up last night and this morning is actually accurate, I can pay it off by, by the beginning of summer. So, but we'll see. I don't want to get my hopes up, but I should definitely be able to pay it off by like fall. Um, this is it, y'all. This is all that I have coming out of this check for, um, for bills. If we look at last month's first, first paycheck, just for comparison, look at all of that that I had. And now, can you even see it all? Yeah. And now it's just that. So that debt consolidation makes me so happy. So the total for this is $244.72. I have decided, even though I bought that calculator, not to burden y'all with it because it's so hard to use this camera and that calculator and you can't see it. If you like the calculator, if you want to see me actually punch in the numbers, let me know and I will happily put it back in. But I feel like it was kind of just annoying to you, the viewer. So if it wasn't, if you liked it, let me know and I'll use it next time. And if it was, I'll continue to just do the math on my own. I do have it sitting right here. I can use it. Um, but I did all of these numbers, like I said, twice because I didn't trust that I actually had as much money left as I thought. So my total for this category is $244.72 for all of my bills. And I'm going to take that from the 1808.47 and that will leave me 1563. 75, which I will then bring down here to my envelopes. And again, I use a cashless envelope system, so I will not actually be pulling cash out of my account. I have learned the hard way. Like I said, I'm doing lessons. I'm, I'm learning lessons in my life, and I have learned the hard way that Becky does not do well with cash. I spend cash. If you give me $50, I'll spend $50. If you give me $3, I'll spend $3. I will spend any cash that you put in front of me. And so I'm not going to tempt myself like that. Now, I do have a budgeter friend who also has a channel. Her name is Jay Lenore. You should go check out her channel if you like budgeting videos. Um, but she uses prop money to do cash stuffing. And I think that's actually a really good idea. Um, I don't want to copy her, but 
I do like that idea, and I have contemplated it after watching her videos. But for now, I'm just going to stick with my cashless wine app. I mean, I'm going to stick with wine app no matter what I do. But I'm not going to do anything other than doing it, writing it all out in my budget by paycheck book, and then putting it into wine app when I get paid. So for my envelopes, these are my variable expenses. I'm sorry, the tables, the, the thing's so turned out. I'm a righty, so I'm trying to angle the camera. The camera is actually already angled a little bit. So I don't have to turn this very far. Um, anyway, so here we go for my variable expenses. Dining out. Now, if you watched my my um, last week's closeout, I have overspent so much money this month that I'm going to try to put myself on a no spend. But I don't want to put myself into a position where I don't plan on anything and then I end up going into other, have to pull money out of another section that I've budgeted it for. So I'm going to leave my budget as is and then attempt not to spend it. And whatever I don't spend, I'll roll over into the next month into savings or maybe I'll put it toward the chase card or toward the loan that I took out. So, but I'm, I'm going to challenge myself not to eat out. I, I'm going to have a couple of exceptions, like I'm allowed to eat out after church on Sundays. If everybody from church goes out, I will go with them. And then also once a week I go up to my bestie's house and we have dinner and I hang out with her and her husband and her baby. Um, and I normally pick up dinner and bring it and then they reimburse me for their dinner. So those two exceptions I'm going to allow myself, but I'm going to try not to order in Chipotle, which I typically do like once or twice a week um, because it's delicious and I love Chipotle and it's so convenient when I'm working and I forgot to pull something out of the freezer and I'll just have them deliver it. If they only charge a dollar if you order it through the app for delivery. I mean, and then obviously plus tip. So I'm going to attempt to cut out things like that type of spending. Groceries, I have increased my grocery budget. One, groceries are a lot more expensive right now. And two, I've cut out the fuelings. I'm not doing the um, Octavia, which is the diet plan that I was on. I'm putting that on hold until I can get my finances more under control because that was close to $400 a month. Um, so like I said, my priority focus is my debt right now. So I put that on hold, um, which means I'm going to need to spend more money on actual groceries and food. So I put 150 in there this paycheck. Fun money is not changing. That is still getting $30 a month. Gas, and you'll see I'm going to fund most of my sinking funds when we get up to the sinking fund section. I'm going to fund most of them out of this check just because my bills, my big bills, my rent, and my loan payment, and the car payment that um, that my friend pays that is in my name, all of those bills come out of my next check, and so I try to do most of my sinking funds and variable expenses out of the first check, and that way I have more money left over at the second check. This month, <laughs> this month I still had plenty of money in my second check, but we'll get to that in a couple of weeks when we get to that check. So, and then, y'all, my contacts... So I am going to take the advice of the person who commented on one of my very first videos and start putting away half of the payment every two weeks and that way I'll be, at the end of the year, I'll have an extra set of contacts available and it's not a full $36 out of every check. Two things happened with my contacts this week. One, they sent them twice and I don't know why and I don't know what happened. So I got them, they shipped on the 18th, they came in and then just yesterday, I got a notification because I have it set up through PayPal. It comes out of my checking account, but it goes through PayPal for security. And I got a notification from PayPal um, that they had charged me again. That stopped recording. But anyway, the contacts, they double shipped this month. I don't know why, but I've gone ahead and skipped um, April or March. I've skipped March. So I'm going to budget the money for it, but I don't actually... So I'm, I'll be two contacts ahead at the end of this um, at the end of this year, and that'll just give me a little buffer in my budget. They also sent me an email saying that the prices were going to be increasing slightly. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if that means they're going from 36 to 40, if they're going from 36 to 50. I don't know what the new prices will be. So I'm going to budget as if it's going up $4 a month, but it could be going up $50. I have no idea. I have no idea what they're going to be um, until they do actually go up. So. Maybe that's why they shipped me a second box, so that I would have that shipped before the prices increased. I don't know. They didn't tell me they were going to. I just got notification that they charged me. 
Okay, that's my contact story. So, and then my last envelope is my ecclesial expenses. E C C L E S. And if you've never seen one of my previous videos, this is my church. Um, it's P E. I, can't, I cannot spell. I can't type. No, I can type. E X P E N S E S. I can't write and spell something else at the same time. Um, so my, my church, we call our little individual groups ecclesias. Um, so I am a member of the Austin Ecclesia. And I try to put in at least $100 every week. I may need to increase this because um, we had a request for some health insurance for some of the um, brothers and sisters in Africa. And uh, we've decided as an ecclesia to donate a certain amount every month. And um, we're going to do one of our Sunday collections to go toward that fund, and then we'll send that at the end of every year. We've already sent this year's, and then we'll take collections, and so every year we'll have that money available. But that means the, we'll, we'll be one week short for the collection for the rent, because we, we rent a room every week um, for our church. So we'll be a week short, basically, in that collection, so I might start putting in more if I can, which it seems like I should be able to find room in my budget now. So I will reevaluate this at the end of March if the uh, money, if it looks, if what actually happens is what looks like is going to happen with my budget this month, I should be able to find more money um, to put in here. But for now, that's what I'm doing. So all of this together is $405. And that leaves me a total of $1,158.75. To fund my sinking funds, my extra debt, and my extra savings. Okay, I'm gonna pause you and restart this while I get situated. All right, starting with my sinking funds, I'm gonna pull that one thousand one hundred fifty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents up here, and I am going to. I'm. I could have done more, except for I literally ran out of lines on this, so. I'm doing this many sinking funds and leaving the rest for next check because this is all I could fit. So I'm going to start with household and I'm going to put $50 in my household. That is for things like toilet paper and paper towels and shampoo and body wash and things like that that are for the house, dish soap, things like that. That I $50 a month normally covers me except for last month because I needed all of the things at the same time, so I, I way overspent. But I should be good for a while because I bought all of the things last month. So, and then I have pets. I have two giant dogs and a cat. And so I budget $50 a month. That covers my half of their food, and then it leaves me normally a little bit of a buffer in there to um, start trying to build. That's my plan, is to build a savings so I if something happens, I can be covered for them. Gifts and giving, I'm putting $50 in there. I don't have any birthdays in March. Well, I mean, I do, but they're on March 1st and I've already purchased those gifts. So I should, this should be able to just sit here, which I'm happy about. Budgeting is a new category because I have been spending money in here. And y'all, I, I, this I'm going to let build up over time if I can. Hopefully I won't spend $25 a month, but I'm going to put $25 a month in here. And then I'll use this to buy pens and highlighters and things like that. And then um, let it build up over time. That's my plan for that category. And also I'm taking another commenter's advice. Because I said something really silly in one of my videos when I was setting up my, my test budget in YNAB. And I said, I don't put anything and forgot to budget because I don't plan to forget to budget anything. <laughs> and as I was saying that, I realized how silly that sounded. And somebody told, totally called me out on it. Um, because of course you don't forget to budget for things. You don't forget to, you don't plan to forget to budget for them. That's what this category is for. <laughs> so this is the equivalent of um, most people's like miscellaneous, like doesn't really fit into any of the other categories that I have put. So I'm just going to go ahead and start putting $20 a month in here. Not a lot. Most of the time I don't ever need it. But I do want something there just in cases. My new phone is getting $50. And I just double checked the phone I want is like $4.99. So 
I'm almost halfway there. This is this will put me at two hundred dollars, so I'm excited for that. Self care. This is so I can save up for my pedicure. I'm sorry, my. Well, I want that too, but mostly I want my massage. Clothes is actually getting funded, and it did end up getting funded this month. If you only watch my planning videos and you don't watch my wine app videos, then. Uh, you missed the YNAB video where I actually did get that debt consolidation loan and I was able to go ahead and fill out some of the categories I had originally skipped last month. Uh, well, in February, which is technically this month. I'm not going to talk while I try to write maintenance because if you remember my last budget mom paycheck, I cannot spell this word. T. I'm still not 100% sure that's correct, but... It's definitely more correct than the last time. And then vacation, B-A-C-A-T-I-O-N. My cousin, my aunt and uncle took their two children and spouses and all of their grandkids to Hawaii this last week. <laughs> and I've been watching their vacation photos and everything and my goodness, it makes me wanna go on vacation, especially because it's been so cold. And they all live in Boston, well, the Boston area in Massachusetts. And uh, they're all having a grand old time in Hawaii, and I'm freezing in Texas. Um, so, just a little jelly. Not really. They, I'm, I'm so glad they got to go. But anyway, that was a nice, a nice trip for them. But I am determined to start saving for a vacation and do something fun for myself and hopefully my mom if I can. So... That is $420 toward my sinking funds, which leaves me $738.75 to carry down. I am not going to put anything toward extra debt this paycheck just because I am not, um, I want to make sure that I can get through all of my bills at the end of the month because this is my first budget. This is the first time I'm setting up a budget with with this new setup um, since I did the debt consolidation. So I just want to make sure that there's nothing that I have forgotten. And when I get to the end of the month, you'll see when I do my next budget with me, um, then I'll put it toward the extra debt. But I just want to wait and make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Even though I did this twice, I still might have forgotten. And so that brings me down to extra savings. So seven thirty-eight seventy-five. I am going to make sure I do my 52 week challenge and I know that in my last video, I said 53 week every time I did this. And I know it's 52 week, but because I save $53 out of every check, I say 53 week savings challenge, even though I know there are only 52 weeks in a year. I promise I know that. <laughs> um, so $53 out of every paycheck, I'm doing that front to back and back to front. So let me find, just so you can see a visual of it. Oh, it's right on top, sorry. Um, so I do week one, and then week 40, uh, week 52, and week two, and week 51, and week three, and week 50, and week four, and week 49. And so this check will be week 48 and week five. Every way you do it, it equals $43. And this is adorable. I bought this off of Etsy. She also has this one, which is just random savings. You can do whatever you want. I'm doing this for my new phone. I want $600. I'll link those below to her shop. Uh, because they're super cute, and I think she's having a sale right now, so highly recommend. Anyway, that's how I do my 52-week savings challenge, so I'm going to make sure I save $53 for that. I'm going to put my full amount in my emergency fund. So in order to reach my $2,000 by the end of this year, I need to do $171.58 so $171 a month. And so I'm going to put that in. Um, one of the Budget Moms February, I'm sorry, March challenges. So I am a member of the savings challenges from the Budget Mom. And I will link a description. I will link, link that below in the description box as well. Um, it is a $10 subscription. And then you get access to all of the challenges. There are three a month for the entire year. And, um, and you get access to the online community where everybody is super supportive. Um, gives you ideas of how to modify it to your budget. I just I just love it, I'm super happy. And this month, March, actually February and March, I'm able to do all of the challenges, y'all. I'm so excited. So one of them has to do with um, eyes. 
Next month's challenges seem they're hard. But my eye challenges, I'm going to say $55 for that one. And if you're a member of the Budget Moms challenge, then you will know what that means. Um, and then I'm going to take the whatever's left over and I'm just going to roll that over into the second paycheck because like I said, I, I have most of my bills actually come out of the second paycheck. Um, so I want to make sure. So that is a total of $738.75 right here. And that leaves me with zero dollars left over and that's my zero based budget. I really hope that you were able to see all of that this time and that all of my rambling makes sense. Thank you so much for uh, coming along with me and for watching my videos. Please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let the algorithm know you did. And y'all, I am 23 subscribers away from 100. I can't, I, I can't, I can't even believe that. This, this, I'm so excited I can't speak. I started this channel three weeks ago. This coming Friday will be a month. And if I could reach 100 subscribers within a month, I think I might cry. Like, I'm, I'm literally already crying because I have 77. 77 people out there are rooting for me and watching my videos and invested in my journey and I cannot explain to you how much that means to me and how much I love you and I appreciate you. So if you would like to be a part of this journey, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am planning to do a giveaway when I reach 100. I think it'll be just like a gift card of your choice. You can do an Etsy gift card or an Amazon gift card or a Starbucks gift card or you just tell me what you want um, if you win. <laughs> so when I reach 100, I'm going to do a special video and I'll do a giveaway and that will involve following me. I don't know where I was. I was so happy rambling I forgot to watch my record button. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 100 and I'm going to, um, I'll do a special video for that but it will require you to follow me on Instagram because everybody I've seen do giveaways on YouTube says that it's easier to do them on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. Get ahead of the curve. <laughs> my, uh, my Instagram is at the, at the good midlife crisis and it, I will link it in the description box. It's also linked in my um, channel profile. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a fantastic weekend. I will talk to you next time. Bye.